to our cooking competition, we'll have two teams of two people and they'll be battling against each other to see who can make the most appetizing food. And I will be the judge. So I will give them, each team, three different ingredients which they have to work with and include in their meal. So we're going to give them five minutes to think about what their ingredients are and like to come up with a meal and then, or like dessert or whatever they want. And then there will be 30 minutes of actual time. So for the aces, you guys will have to use strawberry jelly, a hot chocolate package, and a pepper. Spicy <laughs> salads, you need to use a cinnamon and sugar waffle, almond milk, and a pickle. You guys have time to brainstorm in now. Okay, okay. This is our meeting. I just cook for fun, really. That's what I do, and um, I don't really do it seriously, so that's, it's always fun to do it, especially with friends, so that's good. <laughs> it tastes gross. No, that would be good, because all we could do is make smoothies. Okay, and then we can like, add another ingredient, so it would be, like, actually be like shaking. Okay. But and then add and then the pepper inside. Put the pepper and we can do some Okay. Good? Let's get started. All right. We were trying to make uh, sort of like a mudslide cake out of like the strawberry jam. And then uh, we put flour and baking soda and a few other dry ingredients in there. Hey, can you guys write down like any extra ingredients? Like not extra ingredients, but like things that you might need like an oven or something like that. Something that you might not know where it is. I thought it was going to be pretty simple the way we like we're going to have our planned meal out. We'll have one of you, one group over here and then the other group over here. We'll move this stuff so that this doesn't get in the way. Okay, scratch that. Otherwise, it's going to be some of the waffles left. Oh my god. So instead, it's going to be blueberry. Fine. You want one or two? One. Okay, <laughs> what else do you guys need? Almond milk. Forgot we're out of almond milk. Um, that was kind of an issue because it was kind of hard to make things that didn't accommodate to our original plan, so we had to adjust in the beginning. That's why I said you have to actually go down here and look at the stuff that you have. I was! And this is not even what and you have to get. In three, two, one, go. Okay. Me and Bree were able to like make something else of it and just kind of go with a different theme or flavor. Yeah, we're okay. No, so that way's easier to spread out. So you want it to sit out. Oh, okay. I'm gonna two slices of Adding like the jelly to the chocolate powder, it was difficult to get that incorporated. <laughs> I think we'll be fine. Here. At first it was difficult to get it mixed together because it was uh, balling up and getting chunky, but we just had to figure out like adding water and how much water to get it mixed. Do you need help? Yes. But that's it. Are you sure it's on? Yeah. No, I mean like the thing is on it. It looks sideways. What is wrong with it? I don't know. I think it's hard to work off. But it should work for now. So I can finish with this and then you start making the bread. So get some knife, get a knife out and start cutting that. Okay, you make some good. You're gonna make like none. Do you need another waffle? I'm just gonna see how this goes. Are we allowed to get another package of hot chocolate? Oh! Huh? I don't know what it's gonna be. This was? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Why? 
It's quite Milk went everywhere. You don't even know how to use your own blender. I wasn't too worried about time because at that point we were only like five minutes in and we weren't baking anything or something that would take a lot of time so it wasn't that big of an issue. No. <laughs> it's an ingredient. Yeah, but you can't use their main ingredient. Sorry, I don't know how it's gonna taste. Once we messed up, it kind of went downhill from there. <laughs> Did it not work? No. <laughs> Holy crap. Why did you do that? <laughs> oh my god. Smells good. Yeah. <laughs> we thought it was gonna bake good, but then when the when it didn't work, it exploded over. It like took a lot of time out of cooking to clean it up and restart. Oh. Oh. Twelve minutes, and you guys are starting over. Yes. Okay. Start over. We were trying to fix it and keep it simple, but then we just couldn't. We were just ran out of time, and we just had to throw something together. I just was afraid that we weren't going to be able to get it done in time. Oh, it's got my hair in it! <laughs> Currently, we only have one plate standing. We're still waiting on the spicy salads to bring those over. Oh, oh, it looks like it's coming. At the end, we're like setting everything up and uh, I tried to pick up the, the cup for the shake and I spilled it. Sorry. Let's see how much time is remaining. We still have time. Two okay, minutes to fix this mistake. Do you want these? use a lot of paper towels because there was quite a bit. Three, two, one, time is up! And for you guys, we are the Aces. I feel like it was a good process. It definitely took trial and error. Okay. And the way we incorporated all of our ingredients, we mixed the strawberry jam and the chocolate powder together, and then we made hot chocolate, so it's mashed up together with the powder, so it's like not chunky. And then we cut up some pe peppers and we circled them around the cup, and then we just seasoned some salt and pepper on them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank 
you. You're welcome. Okay, how do you like it? It's pretty good. I can't really taste any of the strawberry jam. And the peppers, they're a little bit salty. <laughs> Our dish was very poor and it was not like special at all. It was just like any regular hot chocolate. And I like the peppers. They were actually pretty good. That was a good season. Sorry, I put too much salt on it. It's okay. <laughs> I was really upset and kind of confused because I didn't know that it wouldn't work. I thought we were doing really good. So who do I have here? The, the spicy, spicy salads. salads. I thought we did really good. Okay, um, can you tell me a little bit about what we made? Well, first we made you a strawberry and blueberry waffle smoothie. And so we incorporated our waffles by um, just putting them in pieces and blending it up with the strawberries and we also added some sugar to make it have more flavor and then um, we used our uh, milk, no, all the milk. <laughs> um, also to help as a good uh, liquid to have in it and then we uh, made some cinnamon toast with cinnamon sure. sugar and then we drizzled pickle juice on top of it and added pickle garnish on top. So we thought it would be a good combination of sugar, fruit, and some greens in your soap. We hope you enjoy it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I can really taste the blueberry waffle. That's good. That is just like really thick. I think we just got lucky because our judge enjoys smoothies very much. I would have blended up like the blueberry waffles a little bit more and added more liquid. Okay, we had a little mess up with the liquid. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think the taste of our smoothie was up to par, like, at all. Let me taste the whipped cream. It, it tastes better than this, so. Yeah, it's better than the whipped cream. Yeah, it's better than this. Now, I'm a little bit afraid to try this, but, you know, I'm open to new, new things. <laughs> you have to eat that big old whipped cream. I know. Okay, that was not too bad. <laughs> I was expecting that to taste horrible, but it actually tasted kind of good. I'm glad you enjoyed this. Yeah. First thing we're going to be judging on is presentation. I thought that Hallie and Olivia had the best presentation. I liked how it was all laid out and it was just cool, it was neat. However, I thought that um, the best dish was probably Claire's and Fruits. It tasted actually really good and they didn't just put the pickles off to the sides and they kind of added more with the pickle. But other than that, everyone did 